I'm back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 you're back. That's a spirit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You see, I told you there was something wrong. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm okay. Sometimes, you know, Zoom doesn't want to cooperate, and I know it's Monday, so including Zoom knows that it's Monday, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have also Heidi, Karen, Miss Janet. Oh my gosh, she has a, a, a different, um, what can I say? Photo, right? Back, <laughs> background photo, like in a, uh, <laughs> like on the beach, you know? <laughs> Excellent. Very good. We have Grecia, Heidi, Miss Michael. Where have you been, my friend? All right, Ivan and Karen. Great job. Thank you, guys. Hey, who can tell us a little bit about uh, her or his weekend? Ah, uh, Janet, what about you? Well, uh, last week was very relaxed on Friday. Uh -huh. Saturday, a normal day uh -huh. with anything special. Okay. But yesterday, I went to the beach with my friends to celebrate a birthday. Okay. Um, Your birthday or somebody else's birthday? No, somebody else. Okay. Um, we have um, a new experience because from El Sonte Beach mm -hmm. to the Puerto La Libertad, we stay four hours in the traffic. Four <laughs> hours in the traffic? Yeah. Oh, God, for real? So yeah. We so you were caught in a rush. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Oof. I don't know. But at least so, you have enough gasoline, right? Just in case. Yes. Ah, uh, um, I come back to home. You came back home? At home 10 p.m. Oh my God, <laughs> at 10 p.m.? And at one time you were supposed to uh, depart from the beach. At what time did you start like driving back home? At what time? Um, four, four thirty. Four thirty. So from four thirty until ten p.m. Yes. My <laughs> goodness. Oh. But, but, but let me ask you: uh, Were you the one who was driving? No. no. Uh -uh. Oh my well, god! But imagine the poor guy or girl that was driving. Oh goodness. <laughs> what good? What good? What? was good it, it was good yeah it was. that's was nice good. well at least for her because she was like talking right during the whole trip yeah yeah <laughs> that's great hey and you you didn't uh, go out with your with your with your friend with the old lady that you let us know no. only lady yeah with her only ladies ah only, only ladies. ladies that was a girl's trip yes. that was amazing <laughs> excellent <laughs> Yeah, I remember those days. Those are really good ones. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for sharing your weekend, Janet. Let me listen to Miguelito. Miguelito, what about you? Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? Hi. Pretty I'm good. Back. You're, yes, you're back. <laughs> Baby, come back. Oh, it's good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, the last week was very busy to me. I could imagine. But, yeah, but tell me, what I did you do on the weekend? Uh, on Saturday, I was working. Oof. And on Sunday, and too? Then, uh, no, Sunday uh, I, I had to do something home short. Oh, okay. And I spend a lot of time doing things here in at home. Okay. But I don't have time. I don't. I didn't have time to to take a break. Oh. Oh, but but you should take a ba a break. You need it. Yeah, I need it, but you c you I, couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. But oh. this week I I hope this is going to be. Mm hmm more easy easier okay yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully but i was really happy to see you again michael when i saw you like ah it's back yeah <laughs> okay. yeah thank we you. miss you no thank you so much for being here also we have beatrice heidi gracia vanny hey we have vanny very good okay guys this um basically today's class will be really interesting I just want to ask you something. We're, we already started the class, right? But I'm going to ask you something really important. Each of you uh, have uh, your own profession, right? Some of you are still studying, right? Maybe like Alejandro, for example. 
like he's being a student. Some of you have your own profession and some of you, even though you have your own profession, you work in a different area, for example, right? Tell me something, um, Beatrice, what is exactly what you do? What is your profession? Um, I studied a business administration, mm -hmm. but actually, uh, I'm really a, a personal assistant. Oh, personal assistant. Okay. But yes. it's kind of related, right? Kind of. It, it, it is yes, kind it of is. similar. Uh -huh. Very good. Do you like what you do? Yes, I like. Okay, very good. Do you believe them, guys? Do you believe her? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, we believe you, Beatrice. <laughs> very good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean, haha. -ha. All right. Hi, Janet. Okay, Janet, Janet, that you I know that you would like to participate. It sounds like that. Very good. Thank you, Janet. What about you? I know that you're a teacher, right? And did you study to become a teacher or not? No, no. I have six years that I leave uh, the the class. R really? That you didn't give classes? No. And I'm a coordinator. Coordinator. Ah, yes. okay. But everything related to educational environment or no? Repeat again. Everything related to educational environment? Yes, it's the same. Ah, okay, okay. It's the same. And do you like what you do? What you do? Of course. Of I course. prefer it. You prefer it? Yes, because I don't have it working in my home in the night. Ah, yes, definitely. Yeah, you're right about and that. After, no, and not before, like me, right? And before I prepare class uh, to the middle night oh. and, and get up early, mm -hmm. no, I like it. <laughs> you see, Ivan is laughing like, <laughs> <laughs> Ivan don't be so mean. <laughs> okay, Ivan, what about you? Thank you, Janet. What about you? Well, I'm still studying to, to improve what I'm doing. Uh -huh. At this moment, I'm trying to start uh, making websites. Oh, well, like a website designer, right? Yeah. Okay. So still I'm studying, but I have had some clients. Let me ask you, are you studying also to become a web designer or you're studying something else? I'm studying also digital marketing. Oh, because okay. I understood that without marketing, it's like nothing a website because you need to sell. Oh, yes, exactly. So you're studying the two things. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. And you, do you love what you do? Yeah, yeah, I like it. Of course. All righty. But uh, we want to see your face, Ivan. Come on. I didn't took a shower today. Uh, yes, nah, nah, it yeah, smells okay. like that, you know? <laughs> hey, you see, you are really John. In your image, you look older. Because you're having because like, a, like a mustache, right, and a beard. But you're <laughs> like, you are exactly like Mr. Alejandro Pleites. <laughs> you're a young guy. How old are you, by the way, Ivan? Um, 24. Ah, you see, you're younger. And Alejandro, you are 19, right? No, no. <laughs> uh, 22. 22. Oh, no. Yeah. Such a baby, right, guys? Such a <laughs> baby. Oh, I remember those days that will never come back. <laughs> well, they came. Yeah, I was 24 when I got married, Ivan. Okay, I need to hurry. No, take your time, no rush. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. It is different, right, Rafa? From a girl than a boy, it's totally different. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, but at least, guys, when you got married, at least you have to remember your English teacher and invite her to, to your wedding. That would be amazing. I will be there. <laughs> and, and I will and I will also prepare whiskey, you know, whiskey and chestnut. Nice. So they can attend, like, elegant. You know, they're already elegant, guys. With so. their suit? No, with the bow tie. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Fancy. And fancy. And, and they already have a red bow tie, just in case, you know? Okay. They're yeah. ready already. Yeah, they're ready to rock and roll. And they also really like to eat a lot. So you got to prepare for them. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Thank you, Ivan. Rafa, what about you? Well, um, I am, I study 
a business administration. Uh -huh. Also like Beatrice, okay. Yeah. But I'm now I'm working in, it's like a manufacturing. Mm -hmm. But I work in the area and the cup area. We cut uh, like all, all process is before before sweeping. So, so, so we cut. You cut like yeah. A cut. Yeah. C U T. That's cut. the department okay. when I am. Yeah. Oh. So so we prepare everything to the next department mm -hmm. that is production. A production. Okay. So, uh -huh. Yes, that's what I'm doing now. And also, we have a, uh, we have a business with my wife mm -hmm. here in Santa Ana. And we have like a library. We sell uh, school supplies. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> and let me ask you, do you love what you do? Yeah, I like it. Uh, I've been working in a factory in a month. Uh, since 1997, so Ooh. I had 23 years working in the manufacturing. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I been uh, what did he mean? I been uh, like a trainer, supervisor. I been a coordinator. Oof. I I uh, been a engineer help. Mm -hmm. And now that I am in, a, in the cut area, so cut area. I have that experience. Yes, yeah. definitely. You have as experience mm -hmm. in a in a manufacturer as I am in a call center. Oof, a lot of yeah, yeah. very <laughs> good. But but it's really good because <clears throat> you have a uh, developed your skills in a different area, right? Yeah, a lot of people asking me why I study uh, business administration. Mm -hmm. So they asking me why because I always been working in manufacturing. In the manufacturing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, before I started work in the manufacturing, I I uh, I started studying the business administration. Mm -hmm. So that's why I keep keep my career mm -hmm. in in an agreed business administration. Yeah. Oh, but that's really interesting. This yeah. is a multi a multi skill guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Rafa, yeah. for sharing. Let's okay. listen Thank to you. to Heidi. Heidi, what about you, Heidi? Hi. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Well, um, in my last year of studying uh, engineering food, oh. uh, my career is not to. I don't know. It's not okay. related to that. No. Hi. It's, it's not related to that or is something different? Or what? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, my career is about the transformation of the raw materials into ready to eat food and ah, okay. everything related to the engineering environment. Okay. Uh, it's about the industry of the food and, and that's it. <laughs> and that's it. But it's really interesting. Do you like what you do? Yes, I like it, and I like the, the process of the the industry. Mm -hmm. And also, my career is a mix of biology, biology, mm -hmm. and chemistry, and mm -hmm. that's for me very interesting. Wow. Okay, that's really interesting. That's the first time that you listen to that type of career, but it's really interesting. I think. Yeah, so. it's not too much uh, popular. Common. You know, it's not common. Yeah, and well. The first university that I had this career was the the US, then yeah. Jose Matias, and mm -hmm. the two years ago mm -hmm. it's opened on the UCA and Unicaes. Oh, okay. It's a new career. Yeah, definitely it is. And currently, have you already finished it or no? This is my last year. Your last year, and where you're studying yeah. right now? In Jose Matias. Alrighty. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. That's good. But it's really tough, right? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> no, but this, do you like what you do? Yeah? Yes, I like. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. That's the most important part, right? That you like what you do. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Heidi. Alejandro, play Tess. What about you, my friend? 
Well, um, I'm just a student and uh -huh. I'm studying uh, industrial engineer and I'm in my fourth year. Okay, your of fourth my career. year. Okay. Yeah. And and it's good. I like it. Um, sometimes it's very complicated, but I think at the end it will be worth it. Mm -hmm. And and that's it. That's it. Okay, yes. that's cool. Yeah, I love the way he's he's planning things. You know, Ivan. He's passionate. He's passionate about his team. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. It's like I know Thank it's you. really worth it. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Ali. All righty. Let's listen to Grecia. Miss Nunez, what about you, girl? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um. I am a contant. Mm -hmm. I studied in uh, National University in US. Mm -hmm. um, but I, actually I worked I work in, with uh, analyst, financial analyst. In a bank, right? I remember they in a that. bank. Uh -huh. Yeah. I my work uh, consists in analyst the the Analyze financial it? state okay. analyzes the financial statements mm -hmm. for uh, companies. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I generate the report to approve credits uh, for the companies for okay. projects, uh, capital uh, needs. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! And yeah, let me ask you. I, you you must love numbers. Do you like what you do? Yes, only times. <laughs> oh I, my goodness! I am realized projects and uh, how do you say flujos? Flujos de efectivo. I don't know how you say that in English, guys. I know, but I want you to help her. Uh huh. Mm. G give them uh, Gracia. Cash flows. Cash, cash flows. flows. Yeah, cash flow. Mm -hmm. Very good. You see, flow. you already knew it. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. That you had to remember. Yeah, cash flows. I understand. Yeah, I understand what you're cash talking flow. about. Yes. You know what? I was working right once uh, as an interpreter for a, what a, like an accountant department for a company. So I learned a lot of vocabulary from there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cash flow. Yeah, yeah, it's a specific vocabulary. Yes, yes, it is. Definitely, it is. But really good. Yeah. Inter interesting. And of course, you love what you do, which is really important. Okay, thank you, Grecia. Yeah. Let's listen to a uh, Mariello's. Hi, Mariello's. Hi, girl. How are you? Hello, hello. Marielitos. Marielitos. She turned it off on his uh, microphone, but I, I think she's she has a problem right now. Let me double check if I can talk with somebody else in the meantime. And Noria, what about you, my girl? Can you listen to us? Noria. Hi. Hi. Good evening, girl. Let me, I'm... Yeah. Let me ask you, what, what is exactly what you do? Are you still studying or you already graduated? I am housewife. You're a housewife, okay. Yes. Um. Um, but I am a study, I'm a study um, systems engineer. Oh, that's cool. Okay. But I have worked mm -hmm. with credit analysts in oh, banks. In a bank as well. So kind bank. of similar to Grecia? Uh, yes. Okay. Similar. And, and I... Actually, I am a housewife, especially for us, uh, especially for my child. child. For your child, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the quarantine. Quarantine? Uh, quarantine. Um, but my, uh, my child is uh, study in house. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, of course. And um, I am. Uh, I help us. You're helping him. Uh, yes. 
yes. So you're not, you're his teacher as well. That's good. Every every day, every time. <laughs> I know being a mom um, is complicated. Yes. Oh yeah, but I am happy. So you like what you do, right? Yes. That's cool. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Noria, for sharing. Uh, let's listen to Karen. Karen, what about you, Karen? Karen, Karen. Hi, Karen. How are you? Hello. Houston, do we have a problem here? That could be right. Karen. You no, know, Karen, we do not listen to you. Okay, Ivan already answered. No. <laughs> no, Karen, I think there's a problem with the microphone. That might be. Let me check. Try, try one more time, Karen. No, right? We do not listen to her. Oh, wait a minute. It, it sounds like... like. Se oye. Yay! Yeah! Now yes. Woohoo! <laughs> Good night. Good night, Karen. I I study in... I, I am in my first year of engineering system. System engineer, okay. A system engineer. All right, the first day, your first year. All right. Uh -huh. So I think there are around five years, right? If I'm not mistaken, five years. Yeah, just, just five years. That's a lot. And why you decide to to study that? Uh, because I like, I like, I, I like a lot, a lot, a lot of computers and okay. technology. <laughs> so you can, you're going to get a well, uh, uh, hang it out well with Master Ivan. Ivan also loves web design or something like that. So that's good. There you go. Yeah. And uh, you see, he brought, you brought her his heart. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's cool. And do you like what you do? Or do you like what you're studying right now? Yes, yes, so much. Yeah, you see, very good. Okay, don't worry, Rafa. You know, that I will let you know what I'm asking so many questions about careers and all the stuff. So you will see in a minute. <laughs> all right, thank you. And last but not least, I want to hear Vanessa. Bonnie, how are you, Bonnie? Long time without seeing you and listen to you. Bonnie. Good evening. Good evening, Bonnie. Good evening. Um. Today I feel so shy. <laughs> so, why but, you are not such? So you're not a shy girl. Come on. <laughs> but um, I start uh, to study a degree in English mm -hmm. in Utec, but but now I just only work. And, you work, okay? Yes, I work in. Uh, like a financial financial center okay and and uh, i am in the operational area uh, of remittances oh remittances okay mm -hmm. remittances and i have to answer emails and answer chats and and so some claims and yeah claims Ooh, and answer <laughs> some calls but it's it's easy some days but mm -hmm. it's it's so stressful i know it's talking about money girl hm? yes and i have <laughs> to check a status and i have to verify accounts and it's about money yes everything is about money when you yes. when you mention claims like ah, I know that, I know yes, that about yeah. Marty. But it's nothing related to insurances, no. No, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I like my job. Definitely. Yeah, really. Even though sometimes yes. you have a migraine problem, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you like your job. That's cool. That's cool. That's yes, you know yes. what? That's the best. Even though so if you see if you see guys, uh, some of us have um like similar careers, right? Similar likes. Some of us, we have totally different ones, but uh, we have some things in common. And also some of us, maybe we do not have a career, we're still studying, but we have like things that we like to do, right? Some of us, we're like, uh, for example, like Rafa, right? Rafa, you were working in an area that it was not your professional career, but you like what you do. 
right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, uh, basically, let me ask you something. Do you think that what we do and what we like to do in our careers is has to be something related to our personalities? What do you think? Please hold your horses one at a time. I want your opinion, but hold on, hold on. Uh huh. What do you think, guys? It is something to do with our personality? Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 yeah, but don't I move think, just your, your, I, your head. Uh -huh. Yes, Rafita, go ahead. I, I think uh, uh, it has to be with all personality. Uh -huh. Because okay. like my case, in my case, I like, like, well, uh, one of my dreams is to have my own business mm -hmm. big, getting bigger. And I like to work a lot with numbers. So that's what I decided to have my career uh, business administration. So uh -huh. it has to be with your personality. Exactly. And you have a small business, right? With your wife, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So you see, so that one is kind of what exactly what you graduated from. Mm -hmm. oh, very good. Yeah. Very good, Rafita. Any yeah. other opinion, Alejandro? Were you were about to say something? No. I'm just saying maybe. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think um, uh, maybe it's not it, um, our personality could be different uh, mm -hmm. in what we do. Yeah. But, yeah, because I think um, maybe um, a tough work and not be related to the personality to with the personality of a person and maybe I'm a calm person but in my career is about work and work and and see process and about ah. and I don't know maybe I can adapt to that world later uh -huh. but but right now I think I'm a calm person and and I'm okay with that. Yes, I can see that you're a really calm person. You're like, it's like, <laughs> very good. Yeah. But you know what, guys? Thank you so much for sharing, Alejandro. Do you know that uh, sometimes we have more than one type of personality? And that doesn't mean that we are like, whoa, like, uh, uh, a personality disorder or something like that. No way. Have you know, guys, that um, we have six type of personalities? that is uh, most of the time influence of what exactly what we like, what we do, but at the same time, what is exactly the career we show, we have chosen to study for. So, really, so now guys, this is what I want you to do. We're going to practice our listening part, but in a different way. I will show you right now a video. The basic and video is like interview. It's an interview for uh, a an, an student from a, from a university campus. And basically he will interview um, one of the administrative uh, person who is in charge of advice new students. What would be the best option they can choose to study a specific career depends on their personality. And right now, what I want you to do and what I want you to focus on is that not only what is exactly the name of the six type of personalities, but at the same time, try, try to understand a little bit the descriptions, the definition of each of them and what possible careers could be into each category. And maybe, guys, you can decide that you have more than one personality. Maybe. I don't know. You, you know what, uh, the last group, I had a girl that almost had the six personalities, can you imagine? <laughs> and most of the students have like two or three. And also guys, maybe we don't know, but maybe there will be uh, some personalities that you that you as a group, as a client will have in common, maybe. Yeah, that might be. So guys, I want, I'm gonna share right now the audio with you and I want you guys to pay attention, just like a four minutes and 30 seconds. It's not longer, but I just want you guys to just focus on that. And then after we have listened to that, we can discuss it, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah. 
There are a lot of it. This, this is really interesting. Okay, bear with me for a moment. There you go. Okay. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's what I want. Yeah, let me just a couple of minutes and let me share right now my screen with you. And let me know if you're able to see it, but at the same time to listen to it, okay? Can you listen it? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Welcome to Matheson College. I'm Jamie Fitch. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Well, there are six basic personality types. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. They usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Not the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people, so they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So, Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> the last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. 
All right, guys. So, that, was it interesting to, uh, video? Yeah, it yeah. yeah, it was yeah. Very yeah. Hey, have you, have you already noticed about the six type of personalities that we might have? No. No, right? Maybe it's really brand new from some of you. So tell me, guys, according to what you have heard and what you have read, what type of personality you might have? You might have only one, two, or maybe three. <laughs> Let me start with Rafa. Rafa, what do you think? What type of personality you have? I think I have the third one and the fourth one, but I don't remember what. Ah, no, no, wait, the no, 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 no. <laughs> Help Rafa. Maybe yeah, the third one. Uh huh. Which one? Say that is is like people like to work with numbers. Uh -huh. Something like that. Like works with number. What is the name of that one, guys? Uh huh. Number three. Uh, convention. Conventional. Conventional. Maybe conventional. conventional. Yeah. Uh huh. And the and the fourth one, the number Which one? four. Investigate. Uh -huh. Investigate. 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 Yes, I the 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 is that kind of people that like work with business something uh -huh. like that. Yeah. So I think I have the those those two. Okay. So we remember, guys, we have artistic, conventional, artistic. enterprising, investigative, and realistic, right? So okay. you. Yeah. And social, yes. So, Rafa, you think that you are conventional mm -hmm. and realistic? Yeah. Only yeah, two? I think it those two. Or you, or, yeah. you, or you might have a third one. Well, the social one, uh, social. I have some things about the social one because I like to work with people. Uh -huh. And I have experience work with people and show the people how they have to do with the work. So, ah, so uh -huh. sometimes I work like a teacher. Uh huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. All righty. Let me listen okay. now to a girl. Beatrice, what about you? Are you agree with Rafa? Do you have the same type of personality, or you have something different, Beatrice? What do you think? I agree. So, which one you have? Which of the six you have? Excuse me? Which of the six personalities that we just watched on the video you have? Uh, artistic. Artistic? Um, why? Uh, uh, me? Yes, why you? Conventional, no. Conventional. Conventional. Yes. I thought you have artistic art, you know, <laughs> like she wants to play. A, li a little bit, a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> why? why a little bit? Why? Tell us. Do you like to do uh, something with your hands? I don't know. I I like do uh, <coughs> uh, uh, manual manualizar. No, I don't I don't. How you said that in English? Handcraft. Mm, handcraft. 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 Yes. Oh really? What type of handcraft, Beatrice? Um. Ah. Joyeros. You can do it. Jewelry. <laughs> like jewelry? Jewelry. With jewelry? Yes. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Excellent. And you said also conventional, right? Any other one that you think you might have? If you have it, if not, don't worry, okay? <laughs> oh. No, that's it? No, no. <laughs> okay, guys, so right now there's one characteristic or what type of personality that is in common, the conventional one, right? Rafa and Beatrice. Okay, cool. Let me listen to Janet. Janet, I want to hear your beautiful voice. What about you, girl? Janet. Janet. I think uh, realistic. Realistic. Why? Only that? Because uh -oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think realistic realistic what about social maybe social too uh -huh. but sometimes you need uh to put the the feet in the on the earth the earth you need to think about the and i was like consequences 
consequences that we have um, yeah, the, um, a decision in the other person, in the student and the child for this need uh, realistic. Ah, okay. Got it, I understand. So you have realistic and social. Yep. All right. So you have, all righty, very good. So you have one in common with Rafa, the social. Very good. What about yeah. you? Thank you, Janet. What about you, Michael? What do you think? Uh, I think so. I am realistic and social. Mm -hmm. And social. All righty. Gracia, uh, what about you? Um, I am conventional and enterprising. Enterprising. Yes, I could imagine that. <laughs> yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, of course, it's because of the type of your job that you have. Okay, what about you, Vane? What do you think? Yeah, I think that um, social mm -hmm. because I enjoy I enjoy stay with with others. Mm -hmm. What about conventional? No. Mm, not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. No, it's more like artistic. Maybe? Artistic. Oh, yes. do you like to do something special, Bunny? Uh, I learn for for myself a, a little bit of design. Oh, that's interesting. Very good. Design but about like, what? Web design or no? Or uh, no, like Photoshop. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, I I like it, but but like a hobby. Like a hobby, but if, but yes. it's part of your personality, which is really good. Excellent. All righty. Thank you, Vani. What about you, Karen? I right, hopefully we can listen to you. I am realistic. Uh huh. And conventional. I think. And conventional. You see, guys, that conventional is the one that is repeated the most. Okay, very good. What about, thank you, Karen. What about you, Noria? Hello. Hello, Hi. yes. Hi. <laughs> but I am housewife. Mm -hmm. Then I realistic, investigative, mm -hmm. social, artistic, Everything. Oh my gosh, she's the one that has the six personalities. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I think you see Karen and Karen is like, oh, <laughs> that's a really interesting I'm in girl. work with my child, then mm -hmm. I have, uh, I got, have, uh -huh. I, uh, um, you're gonna be multitasking, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One, yeah, definitely. Very good. Thank you, Nori. Oh my God, the first one has a, the six personality. That's amazing. <laughs> Very good. Let's see who who else will win you, Noria. Let me check. Uh, Heidi, what about you, Heidi? I well, I think I have conventional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the numbers and logical process. <laughs> of course, definitely. So maybe like like Gracia. Okay, what about you, Ali? Thank you, Heidi. Um, yeah, I think I have a uh, investigative and realistic and social. Ah, oh, yes, I knew it. Very mm. good. And let's listen to Mr. Ivan. Mr. Ivan, what about you, sir? What do you think? What type of personality you have? I would say the first one is social. Social, I, okay. I really like to help people, and if I can get paid for that, so <laughs> it's I'm, a plus. Also, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could be also the enterprising mm -hmm. uh, one because I don't like to work for a company. Mm -hmm. I like to manage my time and being able to do things in my time okay so maybe i could be able to what about the web designer what thing i'm what not that good with with the artistic part uh-huh i actually should get a, a, a graphical designer 
because I'm more technical. Not, You're more technical, okay. Yeah, I'm good at solving troubles and that, but not good at designing. Ah, okay. So you see, guys, hey, let me ask you, did, did you identify which type of personality you guys have in common? Which ones do you consider? Um, one at a time, please. Um, one at a time. Janet? The conventional the Conventional, one yes, very good. The conventional. Con what, which, which other? Uh -huh. The social. I think it's social, yeah, social. The social. Yeah, exactly. Because we're human beings, of course. Yeah, very good. Hey, guys, let me ask you. Do you already notice all that? That we have six types of personality that will also guide to choose a career that we like to, to study? No, right? This is brand new for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and of course, increase your vocabulary. And you see, why we are talking about all this stuff, you said, teacher, about careers, about everything. Well, because guys, this is like our intro for tomorrow's topic, basically. Tomorrow we're going to learn, guys, uh, I, well, I, what we already learned, we already have started learning, learning about a grammar theme. I know that you love grammar by heart, right? Right, Ivan? Ah, yes, of course you love grammar. <laughs> but I have already taught you that grammar, it could be a uh, fun. And it could be easy as long as you identify it, that you that you can use it in your really daily basis. So today we have introduced like to talking about careers and all the stuffs because basically we're going to learn something that we call gerund phrases. You know what gerund is, right? Gerund. Yeah, a gerund like the ing one. Yeah, describing working right designing yes the verb in the ing form okay so guys we're going to learn uh, about gerund's um phrases as a subjects but at the same time as an objects and why i'm letting you know that because we can use both of them and you know it's really easy it's not going to be complicated but it's we can use both of them when we are describing when we are describing not only uh, talking about in general a profession of of us or a profession in general like for example talking about flight attendants or talking about a uh, medical or talking about nurses talking about everything is not also about talking um things that that person does also we can use it as a um, description about professions and also about activities that that person does so we're going to learn that for example let me give an example um you know what fly attendant it is you know that fly attendant yeah is this familiar for you? Is the, the girl or the boy that helps in the air, airline? Yeah? Okay. So, yeah. so you, you can say, for example, being, you see, being like the, being the ING form, being a flight attendant, it's exciting. You see? I'm talking about a flight attendant profession in general, and I'm saying, and I'm, descri I'm describing as an exciting profession, for example. But also, guys, you can use the gerund phrase as a subject in a different way. For example, you can say designing clothes is not a man's job, for example, right? I'm not talking about the profession. I'm talking about what you do in that profession. For example, designer. Designer, most of the time, designs clothes, right? So you see that the verb in the ing form it's a subject because it's the first thing that you put at the beginning of a sentence. And you're talking about in general, okay? So that is when I give you like a clue or a little bit of guidance of what we're going to double check tomorrow, okay? So hopefully you can be in tomorrow's class because it's going to be really interesting. We're going to learn that grammar. We're going to continue practicing like a speaking that we have to do and so far. And also we're gonna do a writing exercises. So it's going to be so much fun that you cannot imagine. 
Oh my God, please, I know, I know, I know. Don't be excited, okay? Don't be excited and don't hide it. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for being in this class. I really miss you on the weekend, but I'm really happy that I have you all today. I really thank do. Thank you. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you have been sick. Oh, maybe you're you're hungry, <laughs> right? Or you want a cup of coffee, right, Rafa? I love it. <laughs> oh, Beatrice. <laughs> yeah, no, Rafa, he cannot drink a cup of coffee right now, right? I just drink right now. You drunk? Uh, my wife. Yeah, I drunk. Uh, my wife makes me uh prepare you prepare you yep yeah, yeah she prepared me um how do you say uh papaya licuado licuado papaya ah you say that a papaya shake a papaya shake yeah yeah like shake it like yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> exactly, Ivan. Yeah, Ivan is like, <laughs> you see? You, okay. He's using like a visual, visual example for you to understand, Rafa. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that, no, that will help you a lot, Rafa. That is yeah, really, I really good. Yeah, drink coffee right now. Yeah, coffee I know, really because of the color. Right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, yeah. it irritates you. But hopefully you will feel yeah. much better if you follow a diet. Thank you. Okay, Thank guys. You. So, hugs and kisses. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.